Many people have asked me how to get over OCD. What's the cure for OCD, they ask me. There is no cure, but there's something better. You can get your OCD to work with you and for you. Here's how you do it. Become compulsive about things that are good for you. If you have OCD, you have it. You can get rid of some of its sharper edges, but OCD is not an affliction so much as it is a certain kind of operating system, a certain psychological configuration or architecture, and you can't get rid of your psychological configuration. And the OCD psychological configuration is not inherently pathological, but it becomes pathological when one tries to fight it, when one works against the psychological grain that that psychological architecture is. And the way to beat OCD is to get on the right side of that architecture. If you have OCD, you're going to have compulsions, but those compulsions can be ones that work for you. They can be ones that are discharged through actions that, if you were to rationally and freely choose your actions, you would choose to engage in. So there it is. The way to beat OCD is to become compulsive about the forms of action that, if you were using your better judgment, you would engage in anyway. And when you compulsively do the things that you would be doing if you were acting freely and rationally, then your compulsive acts will become free and rational acts. And that actually is what freedom is. It is rationally directed compulsion. And when your compulsions are thus made rational, your obsessions will follow suit. If you have OCD, you're going to obsess. You cannot change that. But what you can do is to obsess about the things that you would obsess about if your obsessions were rational. And what will happen then is that you will be obsessively, energetically rational in your thinking, and also, therefore, in your behavior, since compulsive acts are obsession-driven acts, so that when your ideation is obsessional in a rational way, the same will be true of your conduct.